What's good, YouTube man? As you can tell right here, man, we got the six most disturbing home security camera hackings. You feel me? I guess they hacking their cameras. We finna get straight into the video, bro. I'm not gonna waste no time. You know I fuck with the ring camera videos, bro. We finna get straight into it. Make sure you hit the like button, bro. Smash that sub button. Right after you smash that sub button, tap that bell button. If y'all have any videos to recommend, go to my Twitch stream, man. Ken's Diff. Follow that, by the way. Then go to my chat, put exclamation, Discord, drop them in my Discord, you feel me? Other than that, man, let's get to the video, let's get to the video, let's see some real deal, interesting shit, you feel me? Let's get to it. Many households nowadays use home security cameras for surveillance and protection. Popular companies like Ring and Nest will broadcast these live feeds on the internet for users with the account's email and password to access. However, this means that if anyone else has the email and password, they can also access this live feed from anywhere. There have been many cases of hackers getting users' emails and passwords through various methods and spying on unsuspecting families, even using the camera's microphone feature to talk to them. Here are six of the most disturbing cases. Hey, why? Hey, why hasn't Kai been active? He dealing with that damn case. That's my only. That's my only thought. I mean, hold on. Let me. I can actually. I can tell you the real reason. Hold on. I think that's why, though, he dealing with that case, honestly. Casting that intro on the Daddy New Music video. I mean, that'd be my only... That'd be my only suggestion, like... As to why. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. That's the video. Ashley LeMay is a mother of three and had installed a ring security camera in her daughter's bedroom for peace of mind that she put in. In December of 2019, one of the daughters, Alyssa, heard a voice coming from the room and walked in expecting to find one of her sisters. However, she quickly realized no one was there. The voice began repeatedly directing non-monetizable words at Alyssa. I said, suck my dick. Go to Bro, you can put it in. Say it with me. Say it with me. Yeah, people fuck. Alyssa walks weird, back out bro. of her room and yells out that she can't hear them, still thinking it's one of her family members. But she would get no response and return back to her room, confused. Mm -hmm. Come on, girl. Say it with me. I'm your best friend. You can do whatever you want right now. You can mess up your room. You can break your TV. You can do whatever you want. Who is that? Yeah, I'm your best is, friend. Niggas is weird, I'm bro. Applause. Boy. Boy, I swear for God, boy, if I was this girl's parents, bro. And I find out who that is. On the other side of that, bro, niggas is getting off the own moms. I don't care, bro. You're watching my daughter, bro. Like, nigga, what? You're watching my daughter. You have the audacity to talk through this camera to my daughter. And I do not know who you are. I'm, I'm Santa Claus. And this nigga, be my best friend? And this nigga sound like he's laughing, bro. Alyssa into misbehaving. Now scared and still unsure of where the voice is coming from, she calls out for her parents. Her parents later unplug the camera and have since gotten rid of the system completely. Facts. The hacking was ultimately attributed to the family reusing the same email and password from a site that was hit with a data breach. Bro, this is why there shouldn't be camera in little kids' rooms. This is now nah, you can security. you can have a camera. It's just like don't have a camera that can fucking talk. You feel me? And don't have a camera that you can sign up for 
with your fucking email and see all the time. Like, no, have a camera that's like monitored and only can go to your phone and your phone only. Camera footage from the Browns family, a family in Florida. On December 8, 2019, the speakers of their camera started blasting the sound of an alarm. A voice then followed, berating them with hateful comments. Main man Shaq, it's your boy Chance on Nold. Welcome to the Nold cast. Wait, wait, so did your child come out black or like kind of like light skin? I don't know. Well, that's what, what? Lord knows how long someone's been watching those little girls. That's what I'm saying, gang. What? Nothing. The voice mentions the couple's son, which at no point during that night walked in front of the camera. This would suggest that the hacker was watching the family's live feed for longer than just that night. That nigga been watching for a long Browns believe time, it was bro. at least multiple days, days in which they would have no way of knowing they were being watched. However, they were unable to find out exactly how long they were being watched before the hacker came over the speaker. After nearly three minutes of enduring hateful speech from the voice, they finally ripped out the camera's batteries. Can you bring like a web browser up on your phone and then type in the website that I tell you? No. Why? I'll leave you and your family alone. Or I could do this. I like your dog. Hey, go to no- After this night, the Browns family stopped using any kind of home security camera. In November of 2020, police in Decatur, Georgia received an anonymous phone call reporting a shooting inside of a woman's home. They immediately responded and sent out 10 officers to the scene. The homeowners were completely caught off guard and suggested to the police that they were given the wrong address. Police called back to dispatch to verify the address and they confirmed they were at the right place. The homeowners offered to let the officers search their house to avoid any suspicion of them being involved. When they found nothing inside, they started to question who the anonymous caller was. And as they were heading back outside, they would find out. Yo, I'm raking the camera. Look in the camera, yes. The ring doorbell camera had been hacked and the family had been swatted. The fact that somebody would be childish enough to do something that could have Bats, taken somebody bro. else's life. Change all your shit. Stop using the same password for everything. That's sick. Uh, we are sick. Yeah, we are disgusting. You know, this is the 15th one today. We do this all over the United States. The homeowner's doorbell camera had been hacked and they'd been swatted. Being swatted is essentially when someone calls emergency services, deceiving them into believing there's an emergency at your address. The hacker was able to get the homeowner's address using their IP address. They then reported a shooting as, I guess, their sick way of teaching the homeowners to use different passwords. Swatting is a real criminal offense, and in some rare cases can be fatal. The hacker behind this home security camera hacking and resident swatting was never able to be identified. Well, you ain't never gonna find who hacked a fucking camera. Tanya Amador was asleep in her house upstairs when she woke up to the sound of her ring camera's alarm going off. She worried an intruder had entered the home, and so she began searching it. As she was doing so, she would hear a voice coming out of the room with the ring camera. The alarm started up again, and so she finally went out to the room and took out the batteries, now thinking it was just malfunctioning. She me. She gonna cry. She just... Come here. She gonna break them. Decided to review the footage to confirm this. And this is what she saw. This is Ring. <laughs> this is Ring support. Your account has been terminated by a hacker. Yeah. 
Pay this 50 yeah. Bitcoin ransom yeah. or else you will get terminated yourself yeah. right yeah. now. Someone had hacked into the camera's live feed. Like, bro, Voice what? jokes around claiming to be ring support. It then demands 50 Bitcoin as a ransom. Not Finally, the hacker house. would access Tanya's doorbell camera, again Stop. going on the speaker, and this time saying, I'm outside your front door. Stop. It's unclear how long Tanya was being watched through her cameras. She called police, but there wasn't much they could do. This is the home security camera footage of the Chrysalic family. Chrysalic. The camera is shown sitting on the kitchen counter as the youngest daughter sits on the couch in the background watching TV. Suddenly, a voice begins talking over the speaker. What you watching? Hey, what show is that? I've seen that show before. What season, young? Boy. I swear, boy. Hello? Oh, this is fucking The girl either weirdos, doesn't hear the voice bro. or chooses not to respond to it. That's when the dad, Adam, walks in the room, unaware he's being watched. The voice continues, and his head jolts towards the TV. When he realizes it wasn't coming from the TV, he pulls out his phone. Stop. That's when he remembers the ring camera. Stop. Here. Hello? What are you eating? <laughs> what are you eating? You're hungry? What? Hello? Powering off. <laughs> nigga did his own, his, his own sound effect though. Nigga said, Hello. This is Ring. The voice attempts to imitate some sort of robotic ring text-to-speech voice. However, Adam knows his account's been hacked. He disabled the camera and contacted Ring about the incident. The company responded saying an unidentified phone had logged into the Ring account. They tried to trace it back to a source, but were unable to. They basically told him there was nothing they could do but have him change his password and set up two-factor authentication for his account. Facts, the two-factor authentication, that kind of, that, that, that might Apple work. in Georgia had installed a home security camera in their bedroom so they could keep an eye on their dog while they were away at work. One night, right after the woman had put the dog in his crate for the night, she heard a cough over the camera's speaker. Laying in bed, she looks over at it and sees the blue light turn on, which indicates someone was watching the live feed. She texts her boyfriend who was at work and asks him why he had the feed open. Seconds later, she gets a text back asking what she was talking about. Just then, a voice comes over the speaker. Wake up! Hello, doggy, 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 come here, doggy! Hello? Uh, excuse me. I can see you at the bed. Come on, look at the f up. Shortly after, she took the batteries out of the camera. The couple says they later found out that someone had hacked into the Ring account at least four times. They filed a four police report, times. but nothing ever came of it. Nah, that's fucking wild, bro. Here. That's wild, bro. Yeah, shit. That's it for this video, man. If you have not already, bro, make sure you keep your fucking account secure if you have a ring camera. Keep your account secure, bro. Don't get your shit hacked. But other than that, man, y'all folks know what to do, bro. Go ahead and hit that like button, bro. Smash the subscribe button, bro. Tap that bell button. You feel me? Other than that, man, stay blessed. Stay grinding. Keep faith, bro. And I'll see y'all in this video. We out.